We have been covering this story for a while on The Fowler Show. It is, of course, you know, we always have our eye on what's going on in the Defense Department in terms of the kind of the crazy technologies that they are putting out. But they are very close to developing a real Iron Man suit of armor. Now, this armor wasn't created because they saw the movie and read the comic book and thought it was a good idea. The reason it's created is because one of the most dangerous positions you can be in, whether you're a police officer, whether you're uh, a member of the military, is when you're doing an entry to a building, the person that kicks in the door, right? So this is pretty interesting stuff. Troops will be more lethal and better protective particularly the vulnerable first soldier to breach a compound. So when you kick in that door, you are basically target number one, first of all, and you're the most exposed. So what this suit would do would be pretty interesting. While it's not gonna have the ability to fly like Tony Stark's did, real life body armor may have one leg up on the fictional version. The suit will be made of liquid armor that can solidify on command. So what this does, it is allows for more mo mobility, more safety, and it also allows for additional communication between the other troops and wherever the home base is through a special helmet component. So this is a pretty expensive product. Um, according to Republican Senator Tom Coburn, he cited the cost at an estimated $80 million. Chances are it's more, but the exciting thing about this is they could be looking at a first generation suit hitting the battlefield by August of 2018. So. This is a really big invention, right? It's really important. Um, I think it's gonna help our soldiers a lot. Um, and hopefully it'll save some lives, right? That's all, we, I guess that's all we can hope for on this. Uh, but Iron Man suit coming to a soldier near you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.